the 2020 softball opening weekend is officially in the books. Between the individual and team performances that happened over the weekend, some of those are in the record books. Hello, I'm Morgan Uber and welcome into another episode of Inside the Big 12. I'll get you caught up on all of the historic moments that happened over the weekend and you'll hear from Texas head coach Mike White on his team's hot start. However, first we begin with the Oklahoma State Cowgirls. They began their season down in Baton Rouge at the Tigers Classic. In the second game of that tournament against Florida A&M, pitcher Kelly Maxwell couldn't have asked for a better start to her collegiate career. The redshirt freshman blanked the stat sheet, tossing a perfect game. It was the first time in the history of Big 12 softball for a perfect game in a pitcher's debut. In five innings of work, Maxwell faced the minimum 15 batters and finished with five strikeouts. She earned the Big 12 Pitcher of the Week honor. Another Big 12 pitcher had a historic weekend. Texas senior Miranda Ellish went 2-0 in the circle and finished with a 1.40 ERA. She struck out 18. That's nothing too out of the ordinary for Ellish. However, it was what she did at the plate with her hot bat that gave her all of the national recognition and accolades this week. In six games, these numbers, they're absolutely ridiculous. She went nine for 11 with seven runs scored, 17 RBIs, three doubles, four home runs. One of those was a grand slam. She earned the Big 12 Player of the Week and the Division I National Player of the Week. Behind Ellish, the Longhorns outscored their opponents, get this, 78 to six. None of those games lasted longer than five innings. Those six consecutive run rule wins, that's a program record for the Longhorns. I was down in Austin earlier this week and had the opportunity to sit down with second year head coach Mike White to talk about this hot start for his team. Take a listen. We have to worry about drinking too much Kool-Aid. <laughs> you know, I mean, they're, they're getting a lot of compliments and a lot of everything else coming with it, which is well deserved, but we have to understand the game. Uh, it can humble you in a heartbeat if you don't play it the right way. And we talk about that all the time. The game doesn't know. And the game doesn't know we were 6-0 and last weekend, scored a bunch of runs and whatever. Uh, all it knows is it's going to reward the team that plays the best on the day. The very first time we were down, you know, we got uh, we were down to Wichita State straight away, two nothing, and then we came right back out and did the little things. We got a base runner on, we uh, bunted them over, we drove them in with a sack fly, and then we got another double with two out. And, and that's the recipe for success: is uh, you know taking opportunities and, and making the most of them. We did that in this weekend. It's Miranda Ellis that comes up. How about this? Is in the fourth. Her third home run of the season, Miranda Ellish, another three-run shot. For Miranda coming off that injury last year, and you know, there's always some doubts. You have that time off in the offseason, and you just wonder what's going to happen. I've been through injuries myself, and it, it can be difficult. So to come out and for her have a great start like she did, not only on the mound, but at the plate, it just built some confidence for her, and I think it's huge. And to have the honor of being National Player of the Week is tremendous. And it, uh, there's not too many players out there that work harder than Miranda. You know, she's a beast in the weight room. Uh, she works really hard there. She takes pride in, in everything she does. So I'm excited for her and excited for the program. It, it's kind of like the chicken and the egg thing. You know, which one comes first, confidence or success? And you know, I think you have to be confident, and we've been working on that. We're, we're trying to get a level of confidence, uh, the way we approach the play, um, the way we're on the mound and the field. We have to have the confidence if we think we're going to be in the top uh, eight teams at the end. The Longhorns are one of three undefeated teams in the Big 12 through the one weekend of play. Take a look. Here's where the Big 12 teams stack up right now. Four teams, Oklahoma, Texas, Oklahoma State, and Texas Tech are all ranked in the top 25 nationally. All seven Big 12 teams will be in action this weekend. You can visit Big12Sports.com for the full softball schedule. We shift from the softball diamond to the hardwood to shine the spotlight on some extremely unfortunate news for Iowa State men's basketball. Star point guard Tyrese Halliburton will miss the remainder of the season due to a fractured left wrist. The Cyclones leading rebounder and leading three point shooter suffered the injury after a blocked shot. It happened just before halftime on February 8th against Kansas State. Two days after the injury, Halliburton released this statement addressing Cyclone Nation on his Twitter saying, quote, I don't really know what to say. This comes as a shock for me, my family, my teammates, coaches, and I'm sure to all of you as well. But I was taught to never question God, and I know he has a plan for me. As this season continues, I will try to be the best teammate possible. I know my brothers will step up, and I can't wait to be there every step of the way. We always talk about leaving our jersey in a better place, and although I'm not on the court, I will control what I still can, and that is still being committed to this in every way imaginable. 
Thank you for all the well wishes and prayers. Halliburton was told the recovery process would be anywhere from 12 to 15 weeks. He's currently in a cast now and will have that on for a total of four weeks. He'll be in a splint for another four weeks after that and then the rehab begins. Should he decide to go pro, Halliburton had been projected to be a top 10 pick in the 2020 NBA draft. We wish him a very speedy and full recovery. Halliburton Cyclones will take on Texas at 1 p.m. Central on Saturday. Here's the full list of games happening this weekend. The big one to keep your eye on. Number 14, West Virginia at number one, Baylor. If you like defense, great defense is sure to be on display in this one. The Bears rank first in the conference. Mountaineers rank third in scoring defense. This is the first meeting for these two teams this season. It'll be exclusively on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Inside the Big 12. I'll see you back here next week to talk all things Big 12 women's basketball.